So my name is Nabil Risk. I'm the Chief of Thoracic Surgery at Hackensack University Medical Center and the Co-Chief of Thoracic Oncology at the Cancer Center. So thoracic surgeons usually treat patients with lung cancers, cancers of the esophagus, and cancers of what we call the mediastinum in front of the heart and behind the heart. We also treat a lot of cancers that spread to the lungs from other places and occasionally also do benign types of operations. So JTCC, like many cancer centers, has a very focused group of oncologists who are specialized in fairly unusual tumors. We rec or I recently treated a patient who was in her mid-20s who had a, a cancer of her vena cava, which is a very unusual tumor, extremely rare. So not many oncologists have experience at treating that. JTCC had an oncologist and he gave her the appropriate treatment that then allowed me to operate on her. In addition to that, I needed a cardiac surgeon to help me with the operation because we had to take a part of her heart out as well as her vena cava. That combination of having a cancer center with that expertise and a major medical center with cardiac surgeons and having a thoracic surgeon kind of bridges the gap between the two allowed us to remove this tumor successfully in, in, in a way that I don't think many centers around the, the country would have been willing to tackle. So those are the kind of things we can do. So one of the focuses of how I like to manage patients is to minimize unnecessary steps in order to achieve the best possible outcome from the patient. So we work on aspects of length of stay, for instance, where we've significantly shortened the length of stay of patients after these operations. When we do a segmentectomy for patients, where patients traditionally and are expected to be in the hospital for four or five days, we routinely send them home after a day. And we've kind of figured out how to achieve those kinds of results in other types of procedures as well. I interact routinely with uh, our oncologists, our radiation oncologists, our radiologists, and non-oncologic surgeons to benefit to the benefit of our patients.